Hi, my name is Matt. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build the Icon Diverse Hutch with and without doors. So I've gone ahead and unboxed everything. So what you'll want to do first is your hardware packet will have your parts list as well as all your hardware. Um, so what I'm going to do, if you have it, take a separate bin. Sometimes it's easier to work with than in the bag, especially with this build. There's a decent amount of hardware. I'm just going to dump that in there so I make sure not to lose anything as well as my dowels and my um, laminate stickers. So I got uh, my parts list here. You'll want to make sure to double check that. Um, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces total. You can see I've just lined them up here, have a couple here, and I'll go through piece by piece and explain what it is as we're building it. So our first step will be to take our middle support, which also acts as our main shelf for the hutch, and then we're going to take our two dividers. So the two smallest pieces and then the middle brace shelf. As you can see, I've gone ahead and put some hardware in for our two side pieces. So we put our dowels in the smaller holes right here. And then we put our cams, pin, pins, sorry, into the larger holes. So you're going to simply just place them in there. And then you can use a screwdriver or I have a drill here. We hold it. And that locks them in place. And we're going to do that for all four of these. Make sure you do not skip this step. This is what gives your pins and cams their strength. And once we have that done, you're going to take your side panels or your hutch dividers. Now you're going to want to make sure you do these in the correct uh, direction because if you have hutch doors, then it makes all the difference. So after we have tightened our pins, I've went ahead and started to put a little bit of it together. This is important that you make sure you get this layout correct. So when we put our supports or our division for our hutch, you're going to make sure the inset leaves room for the holes on this piece, which is where the backer of the hutch will go. Another way to tell is if you're looking at it from the inside, the two holes for where the doors go, if you are building a hutch with doors, will be towards you flush and on the inside. So same thing on this side here. We're going to just slide this in here just like that. I didn't show you how to put the, uh, the cams in. You would have done the same thing with the hutch, but make sure you don't forget the cams, of course. We tighten that up. So again, you can see here the inset leaves room for your holes on the support piece. And then your small holes for your doors are on the inside and flush with the end. So our next step after putting our supports or our hutch division in there, we're going to put the backer on. Now the backer comes in two pieces. I've gone ahead and put the pins in. You can see one on this side and then there's one identical to the other side. Right here and right here all the way down. My two backer pieces are the two thinner pieces from your box and I've also gone ahead and put all of our cams in all of our slots there. You can do that right from the outset just to make things easier for you. All right so as mentioned we're going to put our backer supports on. Uh, I'm going to keep it on the table here because I'm doing this build by myself but you're going to take the smaller of the two pieces which is going to end up being flush with our braces and we're simply just going to slide those pins and cams together Nice and easy, and just like all other steps in the desk and hutch build, we're going to tighten those cams. Just like that. All right, so now we're going to do the larger of our back piece. This one's nice and easy. It'll just slide into place, just like that. Now be careful if you're doing this, standing it up. It actually is a little easier to keep it flat on the table because there will be a little bit of instability on this piece until we get those side pieces in place. So this is actually, even if you have a partner, is still a good way to do this build, whether on the floor or on a table. So we're going to tighten that up 
and then we're going to move on to our side pieces. All right, so now we're going to put our side pieces on. Um, so I've gone ahead and put all of our hardware in, pins, cams, dowels, you know how it's done already. So we're going to flip this up. Everything should, maybe with a little finagling, but should slide into place. Just like that. You're going to want to make sure when you put it together, your side panel, that your hutch tape is in line with the bottom of the hutch which is the larger portion, also the cutout for your cords. So just like that, and then we're going to tighten our cams just like before. All right, so I've gone ahead and put the other side brace on, exact same process as the first one. The only thing left now is the top of our hutch, so we've gone ahead and put all of our hardware in place. Now, what we're going to do once we get that top in since I have it facing this way, you'll see this is what the hutch, the hutch tape looks like. And when you place it on your desk, you're going to peel this tape off and that tape will stick right to your desk when you put it in place. All right, so our last step again is to put our top on. So we line up all of our holes here. There's quite a few. So sometimes you got to play with the, the braces a little bit to get everything to line up. And then once you have it lined up, I got lucky, first try. We're just gonna push everything into place. The dowels make it nice and tight, which gives it a lot of strength, so that's okay. It's just a matter of pressing everything into place, and then we're gonna tighten our cams. All right, so after we have put our top on, we've gone ahead and flipped it upright. So if you order doors along with your hutch, you can use it by all means open, but if you have doors, this will be your next step. You can technically put your hinges onto the actual door ahead of time, but it's easier just to screw in your hinge at the preset holes on the side of the hutch. I only have two doors here today. You might have two, you might have four, you might have none, just whatever you have purchased. So I'm gonna take my provided screws and the pre-drilled holes in the side are for the larger holes on your hinge that are slotted. It gives you some room to move the door around to make sure it's nice and level after you've assembled it. But we're simply, sorry, I gotta turn my back to you. We're gonna drill that into place, put screws in all four holes after we've lined it up. We're gonna do that on all four. All right, so putting on the doors, I've gone ahead and skipped a few steps, but we've put all of our hinges in their correct place on both sides. And just like any cupboard door, everything is pre-drilled, so the door will just pop into place, and you'll simply put all of your screws in. Now, if you find that it's not quite level or it doesn't fully close all the way, just like any other hinge, that's where inset screws here come into play, and you can adjust those to either slightly level it if you need to, or make sure it closes all the way. So your final step will be to place your hutch on top of your desk. You're definitely going to need a second person for that. Um, what I find is helpful to do, you grab right here and then grab at the wire hole at the back. Both of you lift, make sure you lift with your legs. Put it on top of the desk. You can tilt the hutch back, peel your tape, and put it into place. And that's it. That's how you build the Icon Diverse Hutch.